of the biggest stars in this sport taking to the field right now. That's Brady Ellison on the left and Dmitro Rachov from the Ukraine on the right in the yellow and blue. And it will be Brady on target number one and Rachov on target number two. And they're doing the wave here at Linquist Field. And Brady Ellison, who's already captured two gold medals tonight, now with a chance for a third gold medal. Hmm. And I've talked to Brady and I've heard rumors that if he wins a gold medal here in Ogden, Utah, he will automatically be forced to go, well, under his own choice, to go to Shanghai to try to win the fourth gold medal and uh, sweep the World Cup medals. What an achievement that would be. And there is Rachov, who defeated his fellow Ukrainian, Ivashko, who we just saw in the semifinals. He had a third place finish in the men's recurve at the second stage in Turkey, so he's done well on the World Cup circuit. Mm. Also, a fifth place finish in the men's team competition in Turkey. And if you look at his resume, he's got a couple of European titles to his credit as well. Now, Brady Ellison reached the finals tonight by defeating Joe Fanchin 7-3, defeated Talukdar of India in three straight sets, and also defeated Rick Vandenover of the Netherlands 6-0 as well. Last month, Brady finished third of the World Championships in Turin, or Torino. Italy. Italy. Beautiful spot. It was a lovely city. I was there and witnessed all, all, every arrow that he shot. It's a pleasure to watch because Brady Ellison is one of the, is the best archer on the planet right yes. now. And there you go, that's evidence. He's out to prove it. In fact, five-time Olympian Butch Johnson said he's the best the USA's ever had. Is that, is that a strong statement? I think that is. Nine points off to the right for Mr. Rachov from the Ukraine. Allison is going to use that to try to propel himself a little bit further ahead of his competitor. Brady with a nine. Brady, probably the best hope for the United States to win a medal in the Olympics since 2000 in Sydney. Mm -hmm. The USA has been shut out in the last two Olympic Games. Hasn't medaled. But a lot of hopes riding on Brady Ellison. And there's a ten for Rachov, who ties up this first set in the gold medal match. And a nine, just a little low for Brady, so you can see him moving his sight just to get the adjustment and make his arrows fall down into the 10 ring. And we'll see what Ratchoff does with this. If he shoots a 10, he will take this set, but a nine will split the set points. And there it is. Each of them sharing the two set points, so one set point per archer. And we will be going back to the sh original shooting order with Brady shooting first on target number one. So we're even after one, and there's a good look at Brady Ellison out of the great state of Arizona. Not too far from here, there's his coach, Lee, who he gives a lot of credit. Of course, one of his former coaches passed away, and we mentioned this earlier on the uh, broadcast tonight, uh, due to cancer, and that's why Brady has gotten involved with the fight against cancer, and he's uh, promoting the shoot for the cure, which is why he has the pink bow, and so far he's raised $8,300, so we tip our cap to Brady Ellison for that as well, and I'm sure if you'd like to donate, he'd be more than happy to have you do that as we try to find a cure. Right now, Brady's trying to find the center of that target. We're tied up at one apiece after the first set in this gold medal match. Final match of the night here at Lindquist Field in Ogden. Brady looking as strong as ever. That's a nine out to the right. I'm not sure why it's going to the right because all the flags are pointing left, which means the wind is going to the left. But either way, Ratchoff might use that to his advantage and try to shoot a 10 on this arrow. Stiff breeze here at Lindquist Field and... That's an eight out to the right. Definitely an eight. So Ellison with a one point lead in this second set, trying to build upon that and he does. There's a 10. Strong shooting from Brady under these dark conditions. Rachoff needing at least a 10 to keep pace, and he comes close, but not quite close enough. You can see the expression on his face. He just kind of laughed that one off, and you have to at this level. 
That's another nine from Brady Ellison. Giving him 28. Out of a possible 30. And right now with the way it looks, he's clinched that set because if Ratchoff shoots a 10, it's only a 27. So Brady will pick up two set points from this set. So despite the 10 from Ratchoff, Brady Ellison does win this second set. He picks up two points. Ratchoff gets the goose egg. And so Brady Ellison now leads this match three to one after two sets and takes a long, cool drink of water right there. Happy to get his Easton arrows back, checks them out, checking out the fletching. Importantly, the knock as well. If that knock yeah. is cracked or has been disturbed in any small little way, that'll change how your arrow, how your arrow flies and more importantly, how it leaves the bow and clips onto the string. So that's a really important step in each archer's uh, process is they should be checking their arrows after every end, especially for cracks in, in the carbon as well, which doesn't happen very often, but if you're grouping as tightly as Brady usually does, then that's, uh, <laughs> that would be a concern of mine. The devil is in the details, isn't it? You it don't want to take anything for granted. Especially in this uh, type of bow, it, the smallest little thing can affect you. And not to say that it doesn't affect you on the compound as well, but mm -hmm. we try to take as much, uh, get, you know, get as much help as we can get. So it'll be Ratchoff shooting first on target number two because he is trailing Ellison three to one in set points. Ratchoff down by two points, lets it fly, and comes up with an eight, which will not help his cause very much. Very uncharacteristic, and you can see him. He's uh, probably talking to his coach and asking him, you know, was that a good shot? Is that the wind? And Brady with a strong shot. That's an eight out to the right. You know, it's interesting how fate plays a part in an athlete's life as we see Ratchoff get set for his second shot. Brady Ellison was shooting with a compound up until 2005. Mm -hmm. Then he was down at that Olympic Training Center you were talking about in California. His string broke. Somebody hands him a recurve, says, we might get to the Olympics this way. And all of a sudden, a new career is started and born. I had never heard that story before, but I did go to Junior Worlds with Ellison back in 2004 when he was shooting a compound. And he was a good, good shot back then, and he's still a good shot right now. He says when he made that transition, he hated it. It took him a while, but he's kind of got it dialed in now, figured this thing out. Unfortunately, he's got two eights down range, and if Ratchoff shoots a 10, that's a nine. So best Brady can do right now is shoot a 10 and tie to take the set points to four to two total, but we'll see what happens on this next arrow. If he does it, we're tied up. Oh, he got a 10. And that's How a about 10. that? That's gutsy. And that's a really good shooting from Mr. Ellison. In terms of how he knows he's in the deficit behind Ratchoff on that set, but he came back, fought strong, shot his his normal shot, and shot a 10, therefore giving him the 4-2 lead over Ratchoff. He gives his coach Lee a lot of credit. Says he'll bounce a lot of things off of him and gets a lot of good feedback, and Coach Lee has really been an asset for him as he started to really climb the ladder. And the thing that Brady accounts a lot of his success to is the mental plan and the mental training that he's gotten from uh, certain um, mental coaches and sports psychologists such as uh, Lanny Basham. And speaking to Mr. Ellison, he said that that is the key thing in becoming a great archer is knowing yourself and becoming confident and you know, being the best that you are and knowing you're the best. So it's that confidence that helps Ellison push himself along and win matches important as, like these. Rochoff straddling that shooting line, as is Brady Ellison. Rochoff trailing 4-2 to two as we go to the fourth set in this gold medal men's match. And he starts it off with a 9. Now I can see on the field of play that the wind has died down just a little bit, so that could account for the arrows going off to the right for both archers. And that's a 10 from Ellison. A little off to the right, but still a 10, and good enough for a one point lead so far in this set. Another nine out to the right. He's grouping very well. Ellison 
Yes. Nine or ten, too close to call. They post a nine. They posted a nine, so spotters can probably see some yellow between the arrow and the line. Nonetheless, he's still in the lead by one point. Rochoff needs to find the center of the target and does not That's do so. Eight. So all Ellison needs to shoot is an eight to win the gold medal. It would be his third of the night, and he gets and the nine, nine, and he gets the hat trick. <laughs> the hat trick for Brady Ellison, who gets a big hug from his coach. Three gold medals here for at tonight, the third stage. And his third gold medal for a World Cup. So three stages of the World Cup have been shot so far, and Brady has won all three of them. That's really huge. We haven't seen an archer do that ever. So I think Brady he might just booked go his ticket to, sh Shanghai. to Shanghai to see if he can <laughs> win that fourth medal in the fourth stage. Call the travel agent. <laughs> Book a trip to China. There he is. Take a bow, young man. Arachov, disappointed, obviously, but comes up with the silver medal. And he'll pick up some good points that hopefully will get him down the road towards Istanbul. The silver the is still not final. bad. No, no, no. Hey, just having made it to this point, mm -hmm. I think the hardest part in having watched the qualification rounds this past week and all of those archers up at Weber State University shooting 72 arrows, I think that's the hardest part getting here. Well, I won't say it's the icing on the cake. You want to, you want the whole thing. You want the whole thing, and Brady shot the whole thing today. He's come out with a lot of, uh, I bet, cash from his sponsors, but a lot of pride and lots of confidence going into the fourth.